High school action for you now. There was plenty of it today. State quarterfinals for baseball and softball. We begin in Manhattan with Rossville taking on Columbus. The Lady Dogs caught fire this evening. Here's Kenzie Prine driving in Cheyenne Haney. That ties the game at one in the second inning. How about a little small ball? from Rossville. They're moving runners over and moving runners over and moving runners over with the bunch. You saw the small ball. Now about a big hit. Brindley Dice drives in two, clutch up. Rossville goes up 6-2 and then just runs away from there. The Lady Dogs semifinal bound with a 19-7 win. We'll stay there, but we're going to switch just to the field right next to that one for Santa Fe Trail in Beloit. This game scoreless until the fifth. That's when Hallie Smith drives in Mackenzie Jenneret and the Chargers Take a 1-0 lead. Look at Jennerette turning on the Jets here. Racing home and she will score. More runs, please. Why not? Peyton Ganger knocks in Olivia Trulson. SFT goes up 3-0. And let's go ahead and add one more just for good measure. Home runs are fun, I think at least. Rachel Simpson, this ball lands on Highway 24. The Chargers get a shutout win 5-0. A rivalry match in 4A in Salina. It's Rock Creek and Wamigo. This is a big one with two good teams. Here's a single for Boomtown, but runs do not come easy in this one. Why? Well, that's because you have really good pitchers on both sides, including Brianna Zoller for Rock Creek with a strikeout here. And check out this next one. Rock Creek, the fielders are backing up Zoller as well. In fact, your fielders will make a great play here to get a runner out at second, if you can see it there. And Maya Gallagher, though, well, she was in the circle for Wamigo, and she was lights out. A strikeout there. She'll get another strikeout on the next one. Wamigo wins 4-0. to zero. Also in Salina, 4A baseball, Clay Center and Chanute. The Tigers get incredible pitching in this one. I'm talking about Mark Hoffman. Here's a few of his big strikeouts from the senior righty. Don't have a ton of highlights from this game, but... It was low scoring, that's why. In fact, the Tigers don't score. Their pitching was so good, but Chanute squeaks out one run. That's a heartbreaker for Clay Center. Tiger, Tigers fall 1-0. We go to Wichita for 5A baseball. Seaman versus Goddard. Vikes fall behind early. Check out the sweet snag there, he got it. That's Bryson Vauder. Pitchers are athletes, don't forget it. This game stays competitive thanks to that solid Seaman pitching. Vauder with a strikeout here, got him swinging. How about one more for the big fella? He's a KCK commit, he's fun to watch. But Seaman doesn't score in this one. They fall 7-0. to zero. Other quarterfinals from today. Topeka High falls to Derby. 7-0 the final in that one. And in softball, Derby also a winner. They beat Manhattan. It was 3-2 in extra innings. Great game there. Also, Sabetha falls to Wichita, Wichita Collegiate in 3A baseball. 3-1 the final in that one. Let's look at sports.